Good morning, uh, friends and members of St. Martin Lutheran Church. This is Pastor Jim. Today is Friday, Good Friday, April 10th, in the year 2020. Uh, welcome you this morning. A uh, special thank you to those who joined us uh, last night for our Maundy, our Maundy Thursday service. And I was talking about the pronunciation of Maundy. It's not Maunday, it's Maundy. Maundy for mandate or mandatum in the Latin, the, the command Christ gave to love one another. And today we find ourselves on this Good Friday day. And I read from you from the Gospel of John, the 19th chapter, beginning with verse 17. When the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his garments and divided them into four parts, one part for each soldier, also his tunic. But the tunic was seamless, woven in one piece from top to bottom. So they said to one another, let us not tear it, but cast lots for it to see whose it shall be. This was to fulfill the scripture, which says, they divided my garments among them and for my clothing, they cast lots. So the soldiers did these things, but standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to his mother, woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her to his home. After this, Jesus, knowing that all was now finished, said to fulfill scripture, I thirst. A jar full of sour wine stood there, so they put a sponge full of the sour wine on a hyssop branch and held it to his mouth. When Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. To telestai in the Greek, it is finished. It is finished. And I tell you, I just, I appreciate in reading, especially John's account of the crucifixion, where we see one of, in one of Jesus's last moments, his thoughts were for his, for his mother, that she would be cared for. Um, and, and he points to John, the author of the gospel of John, who, when he refers to himself in the gospel, it's the one whom Jesus loved. That's John speaking about himself in the, uh, in the, in the third person. John took care of Jesus's mother. He was worried about her. And then he said, it's finished. That's it. My work is done. It's over. It's finished. It's interesting that we call today Good Friday, is it not? And, and, and many people have speculated, um, as my grandpa used to say, uh, if you ever said good morning to my grandfather, he would always reply, well, what's good about it, right? Well, Good Friday. Well, what's good about it? Um, checking in some in some other languages, and 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 please don't think I am a linguist at all. Um, I know a tiny bit of Greek and a tiny bit of Hebrew and a tiny bit of Spanish. Um, but apparently, it, well, in Latin, it's Feria Sexta in Passion Domini, Friday of the Passion of Our Lord. Um, in in German, Car Freitag, and I'm probably butchering that. Morning Friday, Vierno Santo. In Spanish, Holy Friday. Uh, in Greek and Polish and Hungarian and Romanian, it's Megale Friday or Great Friday. Good Friday, Great Friday. Well, what's so good about it? Well, you know, before this day, it was clear. Jesus had shared with his disciples that, that this stuff was going to happen. It's in the 10th chapter of John's gospel and Jesus looks to his disciples and he says, I am the good shepherd. I lay down my life for the sheep. No one takes it from me. I lay it down of my own accord. And I think it's a fair question. It's a fair question to ask on Good Friday. What precisely was it that killed Jesus? And you know, if you're, if you're any kind of student of church history or, or even pay attention, you know, that, that the, the church has fought a little bit. When I say the church again, I mean the universal church extending across denominations. What precisely killed Jesus? Was it, the, was it the Jewish leadership? Was it the Roman government? Was it a turncoat disciple? Well, 
they were all actors in this drama if you were, if but the real culprit the one who is truly culpable of the murder of our lord is you and me because he died for our sin for our sin he died yours and mine his life wasn't taken from him he was in control the whole time in fact telling those closest to him that this was going to happen all along no one takes my life from me jesus says but i give it up for my sheep and as one author wrote on this good friday that on this day this night a secure beachhead of the kingdom of god is won tonight and the forces of evil have done their hideous work but it wasn't enough but it wasn't enough so our song for this morning, O oh Christ, you walked the road. O oh Christ, you walked the road, our wandering feet on the scroll. You faced with us temptations and fought our ancient foe. you and keep you the lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you the lord look upon you with favor and give you peace uh, may you have a blessed day and i hope to see you soon god bless <laughs>